Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good day, good week, and uh, it is here. You've got uh, basically, well, I guess you could say you have two shopping days left, uh, depending on what time it is you're watching this today. You may only have one day left. Uh, depending on when you watch it, you may not have any. Uh, but um, hope uh, you have a good Christmas plan with your family. Uh, in the meantime, we'll move quickly this morning. Not to top too much of your precious time uh, for uh, this time of year. Uh, if you want to follow along, we're going to look in the 23rd proverb at the 6th verse, beginning there, uh, where the writer says, Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. Um, Maybe some good words for us here uh, at Christmas. He uh, kind of uses uh, one of the things that Proverbs does uh, is quite often uh, is tells us the type of people uh, that we should avoid, uh, that we should be careful of. Um, and here uh, he talks about somebody that uh, be careful just because they've laid out a, a big fine meal uh, does not mean we should sit down uh, at the table with them. Uh, and so he's going to show us some, some circumstances uh, where we need to be on guard uh, in, uh, in light of that. First of all, he says uh, that we have to be careful uh, of those, he says, that have an evil eye uh, and don't desire his dainty meats. Um, those that, uh, again, are are greedy, uh, those that uh, are stingy, uh, he, he says you don't want to associate with them. Uh, that uh, the evil eye he's talking about is, uh, is being covetous, uh, someone that uh, is, um, is wanting the uh, desires, uh, wanting the things of others. You can see the difference if you back up just one chapter uh, in chapter 22, verse 9, we looked at uh, a few days ago, uh, we see a generous eye. Uh, and so he says, you don't want to be uh, tangled up uh, with this man. Uh, you don't want to be tangled up at his table uh, with the stingy man. Uh, and then verse 7, he says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Uh, the morsel which thou hast eaten shall thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Here's why he says that. Uh, this person, this greedy person, uh, when he offers you something, he sets you down at a fine meal. And I think most of us can probably uh, understand what, what's being said here. He says the, the greedy man that sets you down at a fine meal is probably out to get something back uh, in return. He sets out this big fine dinner, big fine meal, brings out the best food, everything he's got, uh, tells everybody, eat up, have a great time. Uh, but the truth is, as you look here, uh, he says, but his heart's not with you. Uh, it's not really true. Uh, he's watching and what everybody there eats. He's kind of keeping a mental note of what they ate and how much they're eating and keeping it up uh, in his head because now he knows uh, how much to go back later on uh, and, uh, and and try to get back from them. And he says, you will regret, you'll vomit it up. You'll regret getting tangled up uh, with this person. Eventually, uh, the stingy man, the greedy man, whatever you want to call him, uh, he's going to uh, he's going to come calling, and he's going to want something uh, in return, uh, and it's going to you're going to vomit it up, uh, and so it's a kind of a again a very plain, uh, simple simple lesson here uh, that wise people uh, avoid greedy people uh, because they again they know uh, that eventually uh, that person. Uh, is going uh, to want something in return, uh, or eventually you're gonna their their bad habits are gonna uh, rub off on you, uh, and so you don't want to be uh, too closely connected uh, to a greedy person. Um, 
and something to think about uh, and uh, consider. And I think all of us know and understand uh, the example given, you know, that uh, he's going to lay all that food out, but one day uh, he's going to come back and um, won't pay back. And so be careful of the greedy man. Think about that today. Have a great Christmas, uh, and we will see you back here tomorrow morning.